In this video, we will be using the number of zeros theorem to uh, find a polynomial function. We know that a function defined by a polynomial of degree n has at most n distinct zeros. So if I have a fourth degree polynomial, I'll have at most four zeros. If I have a 10th degree polynomial, I'll have at most 10 zeros. Also, a word that might be new to you is multiplicity. The number of times that a zero occurs is called its multiplicity. All right, so our first example that we're going to be working with, we're asked to find a polynomial function of degree 3 that satisfies the given conditions. I want zeros of negative 3, negative 2, and 5. And I'm also told that f of negative 1 is equal to 6. So we can write then our function is equal to some number, and I'm going to use an a here, and we'll find out what that a is in a minute, multiplied by x minus a negative 3 times x minus a negative 2 times x minus 5. We also, let's simplify this real quick here. Um, f of x equals a times x plus 3 x plus 2, and x minus 5. Okay. Now, the reason that we were told this information was because that's how we're going to find the value of a. This says that when x is negative 1, then f of x equals 6. So I'm going to sub in negative 1 for x, and I'm going to put a 6 here for f of x. So a we don't know yet, but I'm going to put negative 1 in for x. Negative 1 plus 3, negative 1 plus 2, negative 1 minus 5. I'm just going to simplify this math. I have a times 2. Um, this is 1. Uh, negative 6 here. So 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. So I have 6 equals a negative 12a. So divide by negative 12 to get the value of a. And it looks like a is a negative one half. So my function can be written as f of x equals negative one half times x plus three times x plus two times x minus five. Now normally we multiply these out, so let's go ahead and multiply these two binomials first. f of x equals negative one-half times x plus three times x times x is x squared x times negative 5, 2 times x, and then 2 times negative 5. So combining these two terms, I have x squared minus 3x minus 10. So x squared minus 3x minus 10.
units, and then let's multiply this x plus 3 through, so I have f of x equals a negative 1 half times, and let's see, x times x squared, that's x cubed, negative uh, 3x squared, negative um, 10x, I'm ready for my 3, 3 times x squared, Three times negative three x and three times negative ten. Um, x cubed. We combine this one and this one, those cancel off. And then negative ten x and negative nine x is negative nineteen x and then negative 30. The only other thing left to do is to distribute this negative one half through the parentheses. So my function looks like negative one half x cubed, uh, positive 19 halves x, and a positive 15. Let's do another one. I'm asked to find a polynomial function of degree 3 that satisfies the given conditions. 4 is a 0 of multiplicity 3. That means that 4 occurs 3 times as a 0. And then f of 2 equals negative 24. So we're going to approach this problem just like we did before. We have f of x equals a times and then 4 occurs 3 times, so x minus 4 times x minus 4 times x minus 4. Um, when I put 2 in for x, my f of x is negative 24. So I have negative 24 equals a times 2 minus 4 times 2 minus 4 times 2 minus 4. So negative 24 equals a times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. This gives me a negative 8. Divide both sides by negative 8. And a is so my function then is f of x equals 3 times x minus 4 times x minus 4 times x minus 4. Let's go ahead and multiply these two. I have 3 times x minus 4. Squared. Negative 4x and a negative 4x is negative 8x plus 16. Um, pull our x minus 4 through here. x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 8x is negative 8x squared. x times 16 is 16x. Negative 4 through, negative 4, x squared. Negative 4 times negative 8x is a positive 32x. Negative 4 times 16 is a negative 64. Let me squeeze that in right here. 
that I have three times x cubed, negative eight x squared and negative four x squared is negative 12 x squared. 16x and 32x is 48x. And then our minus 64. Now multiplying the 3 through then we get f of x equals 3x cubed minus 36x squared plus 144x minus 192.